Hey there, it's Lime at the Toy Temple, and today I finally get to take a look at Darth Maul from the Star Wars The Black Series Archive Wave. Now, a long time ago, I tried to review this figure, and there was a bit of an issue. I didn't know that it came with an additional head. It's a little hidden there, and I bought one from Target, and long story short, someone took the Darth Maul head out of the package, and I unsuspectingly bought this thinking the robe is removable take the Darth Maul head right out. Not the case. Not the case at all. So this is the second time I've had to take a look at this. So taking a look at it, hey look, the binoculars from Phantom Menace. Hey look, the double bladed lightsaber from the Phantom Menace and Darth Maul looking really cool. Ray Park, always a pleasure in any 2000s movie he was in. X-Men, the first one, as Toad, so good. What happens to a Toad when it gets hit by lightning? The same thing that happens to everything else, obviously. Darth Maul, the evil Sith apprentice, Darth Maul engages in a fierce lightsaber duel with Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now, Darth Maul died at the end of Phantom Menace. He did. You can't tell me differently. I know he appears later with robot legs, but this one doesn't have robot legs, so this is the Darth Maul that dies. So, let's crack him open, take a look, and I hope you'll join me. And here is Darth Maul out of the package, and he looks super broody. This uh, this plastic robe thing just isn't doing it for me. There's uh, there's a lot more to love if I remove it. But the unfortunate thing is, this head is built into the hood, and I'll show you. So let's say uh, you know Darth Maul wants to get serious. He wants to beat up on some some Jedi's. Well, you just got to take the arms out of the robe, and ta-da! Look at all that. That's built in all together. So you can have a little, uh, I don't know, <laughs> Phantom Darth Maul, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a fan of this. This, I just, uh, I wish it was cloth. It would, could pose better. He can't pose with this. This, I'm not a fan of. The body, though, big fan. And I'm so happy to be able to do this. Put the head on. The spikes are sharp. Put the head on. And oh man, hey Darth Maul, nice to see you. Now, uh, I was pretty salty when someone stole the head out of that other package, but I'm happy now because I've got Darth Maul and they don't. So uh, let's see, let's put that in there and that in there. Oh no, you broke your lightsaber, you fool. There you go. Uh, can you not hold it together? So you try to put them together so that you can hold both. And I think it's going to take a little bit of imagination. This is for holding with two hands. It's a double bladed lightsaber. You can't one arm hold a double bladed lightsaber and make it look good. I guess you could get away with it looking like that, but I feel like you'd wear out the peg hole right there. You could fake it by having him half hold it, but uh, that's a shame that he can't hold it because his arms can't move in all the way. That's all right. Articulation-wise, he's got the uh, the ratchet elbows, double jointed knees, legs kick out and back. He's got some cloth goods, black belt, black on black on black. Looks awesome. Ankle rocker, ankle pivot. He looks awesome. I want to take a closer look at these accessories real quick. We'll get to it. And taking a closer look at the accessories, we've got a nice, nice, <laughs> really good looking Darth Maul head. I can see why someone wanted to take it from the package that I originally bought. But he's got the nice paint, really great paint apps. The line work, amazing. His red, beady little eyes, black nose, yellow-ish tan spikes all along the crown of his head. Looks amazing, can't wait to put that on. And then you've got the binoculars. It's when he's like, hey, what's going on over there? And he's looking at the uh, the big silver ship. What's it called? I don't know. And then we've got the double-bladed lightsaber. And wow, Ray Park, if you watched Phantom Menace, he does some amazing work in there. This thing can be separated just in case you like the fight on Tatooine with Qui-Gon. He's got the two that can be removed from each side. I think maybe there it is. Yeah, and this thing painted really well. Red buttons, black, 
gray plastic, but the translucent red blades make up for it in spades. And these things, they snap right back in and it separates in case, you know, you just uh, have your lightsaber slashed in half by uh, some weird apprentice named Obi-Wan Kenobi. What kind of name is that? So what do I think about Darth Maul? Well, I think that I'm gonna have to fake it with him holding it with two hands. He's just gonna have to rest one there. He's gonna hold it like that. And then it looks all right. It kind of looks like uh, he's prepared for battle with several Jedi, but that's a shame that his arms can't reach in all the way. You know, hold it. They're out to here when they need to be able to match like that. That way it doesn't bend the lightsaber. It's a shame really, but I love the Darth Maul action figure. I'm glad they released it for the, for the archive wave. Uh, score wise, I'm going to have to give it a three and a half out of five. I like it, but there's definitely some improvements. The hood not being cloth, shame. You can't pose them in this. Head, not removable. The binoculars, they're nice. They're great. The lightsaber, nice, real nice, in fact. A little bit of cloth goods on here, barely, but they're there. You know, mostly plastic for the rest, but Darth Maul work, just needs a little bit more to make him really viable. He could have been an easy four and a half, but yeah, just a, just a darn shame about holding that lightsaber. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Hit like, share, subscribe. Let me know down in the comments if Darth Maul in The Phantom Menace died for you. I know he's alive in Solo, but did you really go to the theater to watch Solo? I don't think so. Nobody did. So with that, thanks again for watching. And remember, you're never too old to enjoy the things you love. No, I lost it.